Today, I'm gonna share my chocolate chip pumpkin bread. This thing is so moist, packed full of chocolate chips and those delicious spices that are perfect for this time of the year. This thing is absolutely gorgeous and it will make your house smell amazing. I'm about to show you just how amazing it's gonna make your house smell right now. I've just preheated my oven to 320 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 160 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna begin with the dry ingredients. This is super, super duper simple, guys. So you wanna add some all-purpose flour into a large mixing bowl. We're gonna be adding some cinnamon some cloves, ground ginger, some salt, bicarb soda, and we're gonna be grating some fresh nutmeg in here as well. So about 20 swipes. Give it a tap and we're gonna use a whisk to combine all of these together. We're gonna set these aside and move on to the wet ingredients. So we're gonna begin with the sugars. We wanna add the brown sugar and white sugar into a mixing bowl. Now you can use all brown sugar or all white sugar if you like. If you use all white sugar, you're gonna get a brighter orange pumpkin cake. If you use all brown sugar, you're gonna end up with a darker pumpkin cake. So just keep that in mind. I'm gonna use a whisk just to combine these together because sometimes the brown sugar can get a little bit clumpy. So I just wanna mix these before we add the rest of the ingredients. Now that we have that nice and mixed, I'm gonna be adding some pure pumpkin puree to that. Now it's important that you use pure pumpkin puree and not pumpkin pie filling because the recipe won't work with that. So just make sure that you're using the right stuff. To that, we're gonna add two eggs, some oil, and a good splash of vanilla extract. And you know we do not measure vanilla extract on this channel. I'm gonna use my whisk just to mix all of that until it's nice and smooth. Set that aside because we're just gonna be adding that into our dry ingredients. and you just wanna mix all of that together until it's really well combined. This already smells amazing, guys. Now, you can leave the chocolate chips out of this recipe if you like. They can be a little bit on the overpowering side and you won't taste the pumpkin spice and the pumpkin as much, but I'm a chocolate lover, so I am gonna add the chocolate chips. I wanna set this aside and show you an important step to preparing those. I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. If you are, hit the like button and make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you stay up to date with all of my latest videos. Back to the video. Now, there's actually a trick to making sure that your chocolate chips don't all sink to the bottom while your cake is baking and that they distribute in the batter nice and evenly so that they remain that way when the cake is baked. And it's really, really easy. You add a little bit of your dry ingredients into a bowl with your chocolate chips and you just use a spoon to mix everything together. You wanna to coat those chocolate chips in the flour mixture and that's gonna help stop these from sinking. So we're going to pour those coated chocolate chips into our batter and just mix them in until everything is distributed nice and evenly. For this recipe, we're gonna be using an eight by four inch loaf tin. So I've just sprayed mine with a little bit of oil spray and lined the sides and bottom with some baking paper. You wanna pour your batter into your baking tin. Use a spoon to spread it out nice and evenly before we add a final sprinkling of chocolate chips on top. Again, completely optional, but this does make it look extra special. We're gonna pop this into our preheated oven and we're gonna bake it for 55 to 65 minutes. When you insert a toothpick or a cake tester and it comes out clean, you're gonna let it cool completely and I'm gonna come back and show you just how gorgeous this tastes. If you could smell my kitchen right now, guys, it is absolutely gorgeous. This has finished baking, it's finished cooling, and we're ready to slice into it. 
So this is why having paper hanging over your cake tin is really important because it makes lifting it out so much easier. Time for a taste test. Mm. The pumpkin in this recipe is what makes this so deliciously moist. It's so spicy and you can taste the pumpkin and those chocolate chips just give it an extra bit of sweetness because this recipe actually doesn't have a lot of sugar in it. So it's perfect for people who don't like things that are too sweet. But if you're like me and you love chocolate, then the chocolate chips are the perfect addition to this recipe. I hope you guys have enjoyed spending time with me in my kitchen. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and make sure you subscribe. In fact, I have the subscribe button over there for you guys. Click on that so you don't miss out on new videos. And then just below that, I have another delicious dessert recipe video. You can click on that to watch more of my videos. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this piece and I will see you guys on the next episode of The Scrand Lab.